This is an 18-year-old Cristiano Ronaldo, and he's playing for Al Nasser just like Ronaldo in real life. I'm swapping his career, so he's starting at the end, and he's ending at the start. And this experiment's gonna find out. If we restarted Ronaldo's career inversely, would he be better? Would he win more stuff? How would it affect his legacy? And here's an 18-year-old Lionel Messi playing with himself. We're gonna reverse their careers and see if it impacts them at all. I'm gonna simulate this all with Derby so I don't impact them at all. Let's go to the end of year one and see how they do. See if they're still at the clubs that they're ending at. We're here at AC Milan because Lionel Messi is here as well. The man has just been signed probably in like January or whatever because that's when the MLS season ends. 83 overall. The man's a machine. Only getting better. And he's here with AC Milan. How are they doing? Well, they're third in the Serie A and they could still win it over Lazio, but I doubt it. No Coppa Italia. They're in the Champions League and it's Real Madrid they're playing against. Interesting. So let's sim out to the second leg. They are down on aggregate, but there is a chance they make it to the final. The glorious Champions League tune it's playing in the very first season. I did think Lionel Messi would leave into Miami. And to be honest, Ronaldo will probably have left Al Nasser as well. His potential is just simply too high to play in Saudi Arabia. But here we go. Can AC Milan get to the Champions League final? Yes! 2-4 on aggregate. What a game. Lionel Messi doesn't score, unfortunately. But AC Milan do it in extra time. Rafael Leo gets them there. And it's going to be Barcelona or Arsenal in the final. And it's going to be Barcelona. Brilliant. So let's have a look then. Who does Cristiano Ronaldo play for? at this point in time. He plays for Barcelona. What? Oh my God. Yeah, Ronaldo is here. Here he is, 82 overall. Two games all year, not very good, but he is here. And of course, he's not playing because Lewandowski is starting, but I do kind of want Ronaldo to play. Barcelona are top though of La Liga. They'll probably finish that out and win that. No Supercopa for them, no Copa de España, but of course, they're in the final of the Champions League against AC Milan. What are the odds of that, by the way? Lionel Messi versus Cristiano Ronaldo already together in a Champions League final. And I'm adding a new rule to this simulation that I've never done before. For every major trophy that one of our players wins, that is a league title, a Champions League, or a World Cup, they get to add a teammate of their choice, which is technically a teammate of my choice, but come on, I'm going to pick someone properly. Because I think that makes sense. If your team is good, it should be able to pick up the best players in the world. And FIFA doesn't really do that, so I think it would be fun if we did it ourselves. And Ronaldo's already won the league with Barcelona, so he gets to add one teammate of his choice, and he might be able to add another one if he can beat AC Milan. Barcelona versus AC. It's Lionel Messi versus Cristiano Ronaldo already. Although I don't think either of them will be starting. We'll have to see. I'm just checking. Yeah, Messi is on the bench and Cristiano Ronaldo is as well. So they might both come on at some point. Hopefully they can make a difference in this Champions League final, but we'll send this out until halftime and see what happens. Chuck Wesley coming forward here for AC Milan. Big chance, well blocked. Seconds, good header. AC Milan take the lead in the Champions League final. Roberto with a touch. Doesn't quite work out, but he's still got the ball. Onto Rafinha. Barcelona doing really well here. Rafinha into the box. Just picked off by Calabria. Half time in the game. 1-0 to AC Milan and they're doing pretty well, but this game is fairly end-to-end. -end. I definitely think if a substitution happens, it could work out. Barcelona feeling they need to make a move up front. The old Lewandowski comes off. He's thinking of retiring at this point in his career. And on comes a young Cristiano Ronaldo representing Barcelona. Can he make the difference? Can he equalize or put Barcelona ahead even in this Champions League final? AC Milan playing brilliant football. Free-flowing. Unal out to Leo. Leo, he's so fast. He's got Romero to track him, but he can't keep up. It's Leo. Around the outside, Leo. To Reinders. Reinders blocked. Christensen moving forward. Great run into Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Oh, he's picked off by Tamori. I think Lionel Messi is on the pitch. Brilliant ball from Hernandez. Picked off well. Leo to Unyal. Unyal to Messi. It's Messi. It's Messi. It's Messi for AC Milan. He got one chance all game. He got subbed on, but when it matters the most, Lionel Messi buries the chance for AC Milan. Cristiano Ronaldo nil. Lionel Messi won. And he might be on his way to a Champions League trophy already. And now it just might not be enough time for Barcelona. It would be an incredible feat for them to come back from this. They might not have enough time. Baran Torres coming forward really well here. Great ball into the box. Rafinha. Rafinha on the ball still. Rafinha to Ronaldo. Ronaldo into De Jong to Romeu, who's just going to hold on to the ball. They're kind of running down the clock here a little bit. Romeu with the shot blocked down and that's going to be it. AC Milan are going to win themselves the Champions League in 2024 and Lionel Messi is a Champions League winner in his first year. As a manager in this video, he could hardly do it, but in this video, he straight away wins himself a Champions League. Incredible for Lionel Messi. Heartbreak for Cristiano Ronaldo in year one. However, Ronaldo won himself a 
league. And that means he can pick himself a teammate. So who could we choose to bolster this Barcelona team? To be honest, they need a CDM. This Romeo is not good enough at all. He's 32 as well. They do have Hoiberg though. They bought Van Dijk. Oh my God. Okay, then they need a fullback instead of Sergi Roberto, who is 32 and he's still got bleached hair. That's embarrassing. Usman Dembele is back at Barcelona as well. Yeah, I feel like they need a better right back. So let's see, who could they get? I'm going to get one of the best passing fullbacks in the world at the moment, Trent Alexander-Arnold. I just think it seems appropriate. He did go to PSG, but I think we can get him here as well. I'll offer you 100 million for him. I feel like you wasted your time. What? Okay, well, we can't get Trent now. Maybe not actually, because we can play Kunde right back and then at center back, I suppose, Kessi? No, not ideal. Okay, let's just play Kunde right back and then get a center back. Who better in the world than Eder Militao? He's an 87 million transfer value. However, I think we can get him for a bit more, to be honest. It's going to be more than that. Let's offer like 120. 126? Yeah, screw it. We'll just do that. I don't really care about money, so we'll just get it all back next year anyway. And there we go. Shoring up the back, we have Eder Militao with Cristiano Ronaldo. Virgil van Dijk will be his partner in defense. God, that's a strong defense. Hopefully now this should bring Barcelona a little bit more joy. He's going to join Barcelona when the transfer window opens. Before that, though, we have to go to AC Milan and sign someone too. This is what we're looking at. Obviously, Leao has a lot of potential on the left-hand side. And of course, Messi is here too. Better than Chocueze anyway. Uh, I think a center mid is probably the best here to replace Pobega. I know he scored in the Champions League final and all, but like, come on, he's kind of garbage. So we could probably get someone better. Now, when I think of the best center mids in the world, one comes to mind and his name is Jude Bellingham. How much is he? Oh, he is way more than we can afford. Okay, never mind. Now, hear me out. I know he's kind of old, but Kevin De Bruyne might actually be okay. His valuation won't be stupid. Okay, it is 100 mil. Never mind. And here we go. Wrapping up a deal for Declan Rice. That's right. Declan Rice is coming to AC Milan to show up the midfield. He's only 25. He's still fairly young so it should be okay. I did trade away Chukweze as well. He is going to be sitting on the bench so he'd basically have no effect anyway. Lionel Messi would be starting on the wing ahead of him so I'm kind of happy to just trade him away. I don't really care. And there we go. Here we are. And so when the new season starts, Declan Rice will be an AC Milan player. Let's sim out another year and see what happens. Let's see if both of our teams are better. See if they can reach the Champions League final again. And AC Milan have Champions League animation again. Lionel Messi going back to back. Who do they have in the semis? It's going to be PSG. Oh, that's a really tough one. And here is is Lionel Messi. 87 overall, the same rating as Declan Rice, his new teammate. Still potential to be special though. 23 and 8. He was third top scorer on his team. Unyal and Leao popping off, but obviously, I mean, that's a good attacking three no matter what. He's worth 192 million, which is basically more than anyone else. In the standings, they are top of the Serie A, but only by two points, so we will submit the rest of the year. They're also in the Coppa Italia final. They could win a treble here. They did lose the Super Cup though, and let's sim it all out. PSG first leg is a two-all draw. Okay, and the second leg. Here we go. PSG versus versus AC Milan to get to the Champions League final. It's PSG. Neymar with a goal, Asensio with a goal, and Milan have been sunk. That is devastating. And it's going to be PSG versus Real Madrid. Milan are not going to be able to go back to back, but can they win themselves the Italian Cup? They win in the league, they lose the Cup final, and on the last day of the league, they win against Udinese. Is it enough to win the Italian League? Yes, it is, by two points. And this is the strongest AC Milan team. It's very, very good. Definitely like Champions League final kind of territory. But let's have a look at Cristiano Ronaldo and Barcelona. Oh no, which is horrible to say in the same sentence. Before we go check out Cristiano Ronaldo, though, I do actually want to make a signing because AC Milan did win the league. They can make one more signing, add one more player to their team. Back-to-back -back trophy years, and it's got to be a right back. Rico Lewis is here. However, he's still young. So I feel like a better right back could definitely be worth getting. Gusto is fine and all, but I don't know, man. Because Kalulu has good potential, but so does Gusto. But I mm, maybe I will buy a centre back. No, let's go with a right back. And there we go. Trent Alexander-Arnold is now an AC Milan player. We picked him, of course, to be one of the best right backs in the world. He's going to now work with Lionel Messi and just cross balls into him again. I guess Messi's not going to win that many headers, but to be fair, he's just going to help him out, okay? He's going to be a help. You do want him there. I also just want to point out with regards to getting players from other clubs, I do release them, then sign them back. This does impact their potential. However, of course, I go in and change their potential back to what it was before. Don't worry, it's okay. Ronaldo is 86 overall, and interestingly enough, Lewandowski's 85 overall. So maybe Ronaldo is starting? No six games. Horrific. Lewandowski's got 21 goals and he is the top scorer of the club. Top assist Dembele with 22. That's mega. However, they are second in the league behind Real Madrid, who also won the Champions League, by the way. So no major trophies for Barcelona. That means no new teammates for Cristiano Ronaldo. Kind of sat on the bench all year, which is a little bit disappointing, but let's see how he does in the remainder of his career. Also, after five seasons, these players will be getting no new teammates from winning trophies. Instead, if they win themselves a Champions League, they will go to a brand new club that they've played for before in real life. Let's 
see what happens in their careers. We're only two years in, so that's not for another three years. Hopefully they can build themselves up here, get a bit of momentum, win something big, and then get their big move away. Champions League animation again, but this time it's for Barcelona and Cristiano Ronaldo, who will definitely be starting in this Champions League run. Oh. He's got red carded, but he's 89 overall and he's pretty good at football. It's Cristiano Ronaldo after all. He's pretty good at the whole football thing. Statistically, this year, he is one of the highest rated players at the club. Militao is here. Rodri is here. Virgil van Dijk is here. Hoiberg is here. David Alaba is here. A lot of ex-Real Madrid players. Ronaldo with 26 goals. Yeah, he took Lewandowski's spot this year. Top scorer for the club was Cristiano Ronaldo. And in the Champions League, it's going to be Manchester United. Cristiano Ronaldo's old club in real life. In the standings, they are currently third behind Real Madrid and Atletico. They're not going to win any titles domestically, no Supercopa or Copa de España. But let's see if they can pull through against this pretty strong Manchester United team. The first leg is a win for Barcelona, a 2-1 win. And Manchester United in the second leg are defeated on penalties. And now in the Champions League final, it's PSG. Okay. This is legacy defining for Cristiano Ronaldo for one simple reason. He's been here before and he lost. This time he's playing against Kylian Mbappe, one of Messi's old clubs, PSG. Can Cristiano Ronaldo, the number 25, do it for Barcelona, for his club. Moises Caicedo for PSG. There's going to be a lot of players on this PSG that are transferred in that weren't here at the start of the simulation. And that's a brilliant, brilliant tackle. Barcelona starting to counter-attack. Here comes Cristiano Ronaldo. Round one, still on the ball. Ronaldo, great ball to Dembele. Can Dembele get through here? Hernandez covers across well. Ronaldo, brilliant ball through to Gundogan. Gundogan is onside. The score of big goals for Man City. Can he do it for Barcelona? Gundogan with the shot. Good save. PSG actually building really well. And here comes Mbappe. He's too fast. He's too strong. He gets away. He gets away. It's Kylian Mbappe. And you know the rest. It's 1-0 to PSG in the Champions League final. Barcelona's pressure has been relentless. But Mbappe gets a sniff of a chance and converts brilliantly. Mbappe causing more problems. Out to Valverde. Back into Mbappe. Big chance again. Mbappe, good save. This tension is killing me. Xavi Simons on the edge of the box. Oh my god. Oh, I thought I was in. What a strike. Barcelona's maestro midfielder. What can he find? Can he craft a chance before halftime? De Jong still going. Great ball into Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo into Gundogan. Gundogan turns well into Rafinha. Big chance for Barcelona and the game is level. Rafinha with a brilliant finish. Beautiful team goal from Barcelona. We expect no less. Rafinha buries the chance and Barcelona are back in this game. PSG probing pretty well. Xavi Simons around the outside to Adogi and here they come. What can he find? Adogi on the ball. Sets back Ruiz into Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe sets back Vitinha with a shot. What what a save. Massive save from the Barcelona goalkeeper. 73rd minute of the game. Massive save. Can they convert from the corner? Mbappe off the bar. Can they clear? They get it clear. Oh my God. Kylian Mbappe hits the crossbar. Cristiano Ronaldo with a chance. This is end to end from Barcelona and PSG. Can Ronaldo get a shot off? Ronaldo cuts inside. Ronaldo doesn't shoot. Ronaldo doesn't shoot. He's got the ball back. Back to Gundogan. Back to Ronaldo maybe. No, Gundogan plays the ball out to Dembele. To Hoiberg. Barcelona still probing. To Ronaldo. Horrible touch. And that's going to be it for Barcelona. No, it's not. Great ball picked up by Donnarumma. Oh my god, I'm out of breath. That was incredible. And that's it. We're going to be running down now towards the 90th minute. We're going to extra time. What a Champions League final this has been. It could be like three all by this point. Incredible chances for both teams. None converted and we're going to extra time. De Jong on the ball into Rafinha. Barcelona probing quite well. PSG looks sparse and here's Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo, massive chance. All the goals for him. Oh, he's blocked it. He took so long to shoot. Almost went in there. Donnarumma scoops it up. PSG just playing brilliantly. Caicedo into Valverde to Mbappe, big chance! Mbappe scores, of course he does. Barcelona have 15 minutes to get this Champions League final back or PSG are taking the trophy back to Paris. It's as simple as that. Can Barcelona provide when they need to? Can Ronaldo step up when he needs to to keep this team in this final? Half time of extra time. Ronaldo on the ball, he's still full of energy and he's probing well. Cristiano Ronaldo on a run. Ronaldo tries to play it across, that is not going to work. Valverde around the outside, brilliant run from the Uruguayan. Find Xavi Simons on the right wing, back to Valverde on the edge of the box, now inside the box. Valverde gets past Van Dijk, brilliant! Absolutely brilliant. Valverde skins Van Dijk like he wasn't even there. Buries the Travella shot and that's going to be it. Barcelona need two goals in a minute and I'm pretty sure that's not possible. They're just playing it round. Rafinha now on the ball to De Jong. De Jong to Ronaldo. Big chance. Cristiano Ronaldo. Finally, he scores. It's too late now. The game is over. There's no way Barcelona have a chance. Do they? Is there hope here for Barcelona? Can they get the ball back? No, the game is over. The ref blows it up. PSG are the Champions League winners, even though Ronaldo scored in the 121st minute. So he does actually score in a Champions League final, but it's too little too late. Messi is here, 91 overall. Now joint best player at the club with Rafael Leao, one of the world's best at 21 years old. 19 and 8 though, not the best. High top scorer though. He is sharing the goals with Leao, of course. Top assist does go to Leao though. Highest valuation of the court is going to be Messi, 300 million. That is mega. However, any major trophies for Lionel Messi. They're fifth in the Serie A, which is interesting. 
thing. And obviously, Champions League does go PSG's way. Europa League and Conference League, we don't care about. If you win that, that's cool, but you're not getting any extra players for it. So Lionel Messi with an all round average season, I suppose, for his standards. Top scorer was Jesus for Juventus. Second top scorer was Chiesa, also for Juventus. Are they preventing Milan from reaching the top of the Italian football pyramid? Surprise, though. It's the World Cup 2026. Argentina will be there. Portugal will be there as well. Fascinating to see who can win this. Even though Ronaldo's lost two Champions Leagues, I think he could make up for it with a World Cup. I'm sure they would accept that in Portugal. Lionel Messi, of course, on the track to go back to back. He won it in 2022. Can he, while reversing his career, win it in 2026? We'll have to find out. And here we go. Into the Men's International Cup. We're in the round of 16 already. Portugal are top of their group. Seven points. Argentina, top of their group with nine. Flawless in the group stage against England, Denmark, and Wales. And now this is the state of the round of 16. Argentina have the United States and Portugal have Spain in an Iberian derby. That's extremely difficult. Let's sim it out and see who can win this. And in the round of 16, I'm about to go right and see the results. Three, two, one. Oh, okay. Not bad, I guess. Messi progresses against the United States, which you kind of expected. And Portugal do go out 2-0. Ronaldo doesn't progress. And Messi does. In the quarters, they have the Czech Republic. That's not that bad of a tie at all. They could win that. And they do. 3-2. Big result in the semis. It's going to be Argentina versus the Netherlands. And Ukraine are in the final of the World Cup. Mikhailo Mudrik going crazy. Let's go. And this is what the Argentina team looks like in 2026. Of course, Messi starting on the wing and not Gonzalez. Garnacho does get a start though. Enzo Fernandez is holding down the CDM spot. Martinez is a center back. Both is at left back and Martinez, of course, as well in net. It's a really strong Argentina team. Of course it is. They're in a World Cup semi-final. Huge game against the Netherlands. Can they win it? Can they get to a World Cup final? Is Messi going to play in the biggest game in football? Yes, on penalties. Oh my God. Messi does score his penalty. He was first up. Lautaro and Barco both miss, but De Ligt misses the crucial penalty. And Argentina are in the World Cup final against Ukraine. What sort of game is that? Argentina versus Ukraine in the biggest game in football. Argentina won it in 2022. Can they go back to back? Can Messi win himself a Champions League and the World Cup in like four years? That would be insane. Three years. In three years, he'll have won the World Cup and the Champions League if he pulls through. Let's play this match and watch it happen. No major speech necessary. It's the biggest game in world football. Argentina versus Ukraine. Lionel Messi has a chance to do it again. Garnacho on the ball. What can he find now for Argentina? Rodriguez. This Argentina team is very, very similar to the one that won it in 2026. Big challenge from Ukraine to start this game off, but it is still a kind of weak Ukraine team. I have no idea how they made it this far. Martinez on the ball into Messi. Messi, brilliant ball to Fernandez. Oh, he's wasted that. Mikhailo Mudrik on the ball for Ukraine. Shaparenko into Tigankov to Mikhailo Mudrik crossed the ball in really well. Uh, not really good. Lionel Messi back to Garnacho. Enzo Fernandez, Martinez to Juan Foyth. Yes, Juan Foyth to Rodriguez now on the edge of the box. Martinez. Martinez, what can he find to Fernandez? Oh, pulls it back from Messi! Messi, it's Messi, it's Lionel Messi in the World Cup final, the biggest game of all. Of course he delivers, and it's 1-0 for Argentina. And that's it, half time already. Lionel Messi scores on the brink, big chance, and he converts. Shaparenko, great ball, Van Aten, big chance for Ukraine. What a challenge, that could have been a penalty as well. Great ball to Martinez, reverse pass from McAllister. Martinez sets back Messi, not a second for Messi, is it? Messi on the ball, oh, just wide of the post. Lionel Messi sets back Martinez and that's it. 2-0 to Argentina. Really well worked goal. Messi, Martinez. Oh, he let it run. He let it run. And Argentina are just going to run out the clock. Maybe as they should. It's the responsible thing to do, I think. Fernandez got on the left-hand side. They're going to have one more attack. Can they get another goal? Tries to chip to the edge of the box. Martinez with a volley. Great save. They have another corner. Oh, no, it's a penalty. This is what happened. I didn't really see the penalty. Okay, shot. That's harsh. That's very harsh. It's going to be Alexis McAllister to make it three. He buries it. Argentina have won the World Cup. 3-0. Emphatic result. Take the tip off. There we go. It's all over. McAllister, Martinez, and Messi. All with goals in the World Cup final. Argentina make it look easy. And they win the World Cup. So now Messi's won the Champions League and the World Cup. There we go. Argentina, our world champions. Martinez lift the trophy. Messi has won it all already. He's already a world champion and a European champion with AC Milan and Argentina, respectively. And we're back with Cristiano Ronaldo, who's up to a 93 overall. Now the best player at Barcelona. 24-3 and three on the year is really 
really good, but we don't care about that. We want trophies and results. They aren't winning La Liga, but we will sim it out because they're only a point behind Sevilla. Real close with Atletico and Real Madrid. They do win the Supercopa though, and they don't win the Copa de España, but domestic trophies don't count towards teammates being added. In the Champions League, they are not there. Juve, Man City, Bayern Munich, and Real Madrid. So no sign of Messi either. Let's sim it out. They do have an El Clasico to go. They've won both of their last fixtures against Girona and Granada, as well as Celta Vigo. So they are unbeaten this month. They're on good form. They're peaking at the right time. Can they deliver? Yes, a Ronaldo goal seals it for Barcelona against Real Madrid. That could be enough to win them the title. And it's going to be Getafe and Alaves. That's not too bad at all. Getafe is a win. And now we have Alaves. Here's the results in the league. They're not top. Sevilla are, who have also been unbeaten this month. However, if they drop points in this game and Barcelona win, that will be enough. Barcelona will win the league. Here we go. Ronaldo up front. Can Barcelona get a result? A 3-0 win is good, but is it enough? Sevilla won. Sevilla won against Zaragoza, so they don't win the league. Unfortunately, Sevilla win the league. That's such a shame. Barcelona went flawless, but Sevilla went flawless as well. And here's AC Milan in the Serie A, their fourth. So once again, pretty far down the table for their standards. Juve dominating the league again. They do win the Coppa Italia though, which is very good. Again, no Champions League. It's Man City versus Real Madrid in that one. And Lionel Messi is here. 93 overall. The exact same as Ronaldo, but he's got a Champions League and a World Cup under his belt, so he's doing better. Nicholas Schuller is also signed here. Declan Rice and Alexander-Arnold are contributing as they should, but Pereja was starting instead of Xavi Simons. Wow, he was playing in the Champions League final last year, but this year he's playing here. You could do this and then you could do this to put him on the wing and then you could start De Ketelaer or Musa in midfield. Yeah, that's probably the way to go. Either way, Lionel Messi is now the best player at this club and tied highest rated player in the whole game, I believe. Oh no, Mbappe will be higher rated actually. 32 and 6 on the year, so a great goal scoring season. 20 in the Serie A. Will that net him top scorer though? No, it doesn't. Victor Rossi man with 23. He's actually tied with a bunch of players, including Oli Watkins from Bologna. Interesting. So nothing for Ronaldo and Messi this time around, but that's okay. We're going to have years like that and that's to be expected. It's normal in football. However, next year is a very important year. It's our last year of if I win a trophy, I get a better teammate. So it's important for both of our players to be pushing for the league and pushing for the Champions League. Also, if either of them win top score, that qualifies as well. Of course, before they were never really good enough to win top score, but now definitely they are. In the meantime, subscribe to me. I'm great and awesome and I need subs to become famous. Back at AC Milan, Messi's up again. 95 overall, 22 and 9 on the gear, but trophies wise, is he up? Come on. Yes, he's top by seven points over into Milan. That should be a league title. They do also win the EA Sports Super Cup and they're in the final of the Coppa d'Italia. Domestic trebles on the cards. Champions League, they're not there, but Barcelona are. One all with Inter Milan. Can Ronaldo make a third final? Also, Shakhtar Donetsk made it this far. That's crazy. They beat Man United and what? Who? PSG? Wow, that's crazy. So let's sim this out. Can Lionel Messi make it? Can he win himself the league? He really should. If he wins this game, he does and he does. Okay, so he can pick a teammate for himself. So let's have a look at this AC Milan team and see where they need a teammate. They have Loftus Cheek in midfield. Okay, De Ketelaer could slip in there. A left back. Okay, yeah, they're weak at left back. They have this Otero guy, but he's, I don't know. They're definitely weak at left back. They have a lot of depth in midfield, so they definitely don't need a midfielder. They still have Unyal on the bench. They have Origi here as well. De Sassi, Werner. Yeah, okay, so I think a left back is probably in order. Who's the best left back we can get? And there we go. The transfer is done. Alfonso Davies is now an AC Milan player. He'll slot in at left back. He's one of the best left backs in the world. And that is Messi's final team done. Otero. I'm just imagine he's Alfonso Davies. Oh, he's there. Okay, perfect. There you go. Alfonso Davies at left back. This is perfect. This team is so strong. It could definitely win Champions Leagues. If Messi doesn't win the Champions League, he's just going to stay at AC Milan. But if he does win the Champions League, he's going to move on to a new challenge. One of the clubs that he's been to before, PSG or Barcelona probably. And the Champions League theme plays for Barcelona, which can only mean one thing. They're again in the final. But Ronaldo at this point is one of the best players in the world. Scoring 31 and 12 assists. Really, really good. Not top scorer though. Who's man down Bele outscores him, but Ronaldo and him tie in the league. Usman Dembele also gets more assists. What a monster. But Barcelona do win La Liga. They end up 12 points ahead of Real Madrid, so Ronaldo will get a new teammate. They also win the Supercopa and the Copa de España. They've done a domestic treble. Could they do the quadruple? Could they round off the one of the greatest seasons ever? All comes down to this. A Champions League final. Jumping into the 65th minute and Manchester City are behind. Barcelona on top. 3-2. Ronaldo has a chance, but Man City probing really well here. Calvin Phillips, massive chance, and there we go. We're back even 3 all. What a Champions League final this is. Goal scorers have been Ronaldo and De Jong with a brace. Haaland, Rodrigo, yes, Brazilian Rodrigo, and Calvin Phillips with goals from Manchester City. Pedri is also playing for Manchester City, Ronaldo's ex-teammate at Barcelona. Ahraf Hakimi now on the ball. Hakimi to Rodrigo. 
Rodrigo to Hakimi. Man City just so good. Probing really, really well. But they have conceded three. Haaland doesn't quite get on the end of that. I thought he might have. Ronaldo into Neves. Into Neves. Here comes Ruben Neves out to Ferran Torres. Big chance for Barcelona. Ferran Torres, can he make it 4-3? Just runs a little wide with it. Sets back Neves. Neves with a shot. What a save. Barcelona have one more attack. It's Frankie de Jong. Sets back Hernandez. Big chance. Hernandez to Torres. One more to Ronaldo. Give it to Ronaldo. Oh my God. Ronaldo was through. Ronaldo was so through. We're going to extra time. Ronaldo plays through Ferran Torres to de Jong. Brilliant football. De Jong with the shot. Good save. Ball booted long. Well won. And that might just be it for the first half of extra time. Yes, it is. Ferran Torres. Torres cutting in really well. Torres sets back de Jong. No, he's not there. What a huge chance. Sven Botman from Manchester City. That could be it. We're into the 120th minute. We're going to run it out and we're going to go to penalties. We've never been this far in a Champions League final with Cristiano Ronaldo. The third one has ended up in a penalty shootout. Rodrigo won the first one. Penencas brilliantly. Ronaldo steps up. Buries his penalty. That's a huge finish. The lap next up. Saved. Saved by Peña. Oh, buried the penalty. Fatty on the penalty. Chips it into the corner. That was weird. Hakimi puts a lot of power into it. Buries a penalty. If Barcelona score these next two penalties, they win. Ferran Torres steps up. Buries it. Brilliant penalty. Man City have to score, and it's Phil Foden, the Manchester boy. Can he finish it? Great pen. Here we go. Barcelona, penalty five. Could the redemption act be complete in Ronaldo's third Champions League final? Can Rodri secure it? Saved. Jack Grealish steps up. Buries the penalty. Oh, no. Militao, don't miss. Please. Okay, that's okay. Kirk is on the penalty. Saved! Oh my god, it's saved. Barcelona have a second chance to win it. It's Frankie de Jong. It's Frankie de Jong! Yes! Barcelona finally win the Champions League. Ronaldo, after three attempts, is a Champions League winner. Oh my god, the hero's arc is complete, but there's still a long way to go. Still have loads of World Cups to play, but this is the last year of transfers. And Cristiano Ronaldo has two of them. He's got a quadruple here, a league title and a Champions League. What gaps need to be plugged in this Barcelona team to win it again next year? Oh my god, basically nothing. Okay, this team is insane. Wingers loads of depth up front. Maybe they could do with a bit of depth in case Ronaldo gets injured. In midfield, they're kind of fine. Yeah, injuries is just going to be a problem. I suppose goalkeeper, but then Ter Stegen is here, but he is 36. Yeah, I don't know. I think we'll go with a left back and a goalkeeper. I think that makes the most sense. But this team is just so strong. Although Rodri might start regressing soon. Ah, Kessie's there though. Yeah, let's just go with a left back and a goalkeeper. All right, I've made two pickups for Barcelona. One of them is Destiny Udogi to play at left back. And the other one is quite simply John really Donnarumma to just slot into nets. The best goalkeeper. So we've got Donnarumma and we have Udogi. Now this Barcelona team is completely ridiculous. <laughs> There's no way anyone's just beating this team and they have Ronaldo up front who's just going to keep getting better he's still fairly young only 23 a long way to go still Champions League animation for AC Milan that's good oh they have Real Madrid in the Champions League but they're 2-0 down hooray let's sim this out they're probably not going to come back I'd be very surprised if they do Lionel Messi can he do it no a one-all draw he does score but he misses the penalty and that's all she wrote and it could be Barcelona as well they're 4-1 up on aggregate over Liverpool but it's going to be an El Clasico Champions League final in the standings though they are top of the Serie so far we'll sim it out though because it's not confirmed they're also in the Copa d'Italia final yeah we could have had a Champions League final between Messi and Ronaldo but unfortunately it was not to be let's sim this season out and see if they can win the league they beat Cremonese they beat Napoli and on the last day against Lecce to win the league title they win so they do win the Serie A but not the Champions League let's see if Barcelona can go one step better Barcelona are just so good 78 points and they've won La Liga they also won the Supercopa ah but they didn't win the Copa de España though they got knocked out in the semi-finals by Real Madrid Oh, that would have been so good. They lose the Super Cup as well to Liverpool, but they did beat them in the Champions League semi-final 6-2 to end up against Real Madrid in the final. Arsenal win the Europa League and Benfica have Fulham in the Conference League. That's a weird one. Anyway, can Lionel Messi round off an incredible season? Against Betis, they lose, but it doesn't really matter. It's Real Madrid in the Champions League final. It's an El Clasico Champions League final and Ronaldo is about to win it. Oh, okay, he lost. Due with a brace, Rodrigo with a goal and Barcelona lose another Champions League final. Out of four, he's won one. At least he has won a Champions League title but still, you'd kind of expect better. Also, if he did win the Champions League there, he would have been able to transfer to, well, Real Madrid or Manchester United or Sporting Lisbon or Sporting Club de Portugal or whatever you call it, or back to Al Nasser, any club he's been to already, but he lost, so here we are. This season, Cristiano Ronaldo, obviously 98 overall, 23 and 12, not the top scorer, not even second, Ferran Torres and Ansu Fati, both 88 overall. Fati on 46 games on 29 and 8 is incredible. Not really much more I can say. We keep simming out because we got the world
World Cup next year. Messi's won one in 2026. Can Ronaldo come back and win one as well? Flipping their careers on their heads, Messi's been incredible so far. Ronaldo's been good too, but he hasn't got any international success yet. Ronaldo has reached a 99 overall, 25 years old, 21 and 8 though. Statistically not that good, but hopefully the hit in the statistics means more team success. Oh, they're fourth. This is terrible. The worst they've been in La Liga in a while. They did win the Supercopa though. No Copa de España. They got knocked out in the round of 32 or before this? The round of 32, they got knocked out by Espanyol on penalties, the derby. In the Champions League, they're not there, but AC Milan are against Real Madrid. Ooh, again, that's a repeat semi-final, that is. Top score this season in La Liga was Ansu Fati for Barcelona. Again, Fati proving top score for Barcelona ahead of Ronaldo. El Clasico goes Barcelona's way, a 2-0 win. This Barcelona team is getting slightly worse, so just simply as players get older. You know, I can't manually give them teammates anymore, so I can't give them the best team ever. AC Milan, though, look like this. Lionel Messi's not 99. He's 98, but he's still really good. 28 and 10 on the year. He wasn't top scorer. Xavi Simons was. And top assist was Rafael Leao, but Messi's just doing the all-round stuff. Valuated at 313.5 million. And they are top of the Serie A. Very, very good. And of course, in the Champions League semi-final. Real Madrid, the first leg was a 2-1 loss. Can they win the second leg? Come on, come on. On the right-hand side, you'll see the result. And they lose. 2-all draw. 4-3 on aggregate. Again, they fall short at the Champions League hurdle, but it's not over for this year because it's a World Cup year. It's a World Cup opportunity for Ronaldo and Messi. This is the World Cup group stage. Portugal have Norway, Ghana, Romania. That's not too bad. And Argentina have Italy, Denmark and Iceland, which is a group stage that they normally have. I fancy them to do well in that and I also fancy Portugal to do well. They should both get out of their groups fairly comfortably. And the simulation is complete for the group stage. Portugal are top five points over Norway. That's not bad. And Argentina are second, so they both regress. In the round of 16, Portugal have Romania. Pretty favourable tie. And Argentina have Scotland and again, fairly favourable. They should both progress. And Portugal do beat Romania and Argentina beat Scotland. So now Portugal and they beat Denmark. Oh my God, I didn't even think that was simmed out. Argentina have the United States of America. That's not too bad either. They're both doing really, really well in this World Cup run. Let's simulate another week and see how they do. Did they progress? No, they didn't. The USA beat them 2-1. Oh my God. That's poor from Argentina, but Portugal obviously progressed. Another Iberian derby. Ronaldo's still in this. In a World Cup semi-final, can Cristiano Ronaldo progress to the final? Here we go. Oh. Oh, that's the third place game. Yeah, they lost to Spain. Ronaldo falls short at the final hurdle to the World Cup final. He's lost four Champions League finals and now a World Cup semi-final. Absolutely heartbreaking. Let's sim out this year and see what happens. Oh, Champions League animation for Cristiano Ronaldo. He's already lost three finals. Can he win a second Champions League title? He has to play against Man City. God, okay, that's quite tough. But he's 99 overall, 24 and 11 on the year, which is good and all. Barcelona finished top of La Liga over Villarreal by four points. La Liga's not over yet, so we will sim it out, of course. They also do win the Copa de España. No Super Cup for them, but they are in the Champions League semi-final, of course, as well. Let's sim it all out and see how they do. Let's go. First game against Man City is a one-all draw, so we'll manually sim the second one. They beat Betis, which is good for the league. Can Barcelona pull through? Oh, they don't. Rodrigo, ex-Real Madrid player, sinks Barcelona in the semi-final of the Champions League. Ronaldo doesn't make the final. Also, by now, both of our players are at what is more or less their peak. They're both 26 years old, 99 rated, 320 million in value each and Barcelona are league champions. They had Villarreal on the last day as well who ended up finishing second but by six points so it didn't matter. And as I said Lionel Messi is the exact same 26 99 overall 19 and 13 on the year. Very very good for him but this Milan team hasn't really done that well in Serie A and it continues seventh in the league which is very poor. Top again is Juventus. No luck in the EA Sports Cup. No luck in the Coppa Italia final. Napoli beat them and of course no luck in the Champions League either. They got knocked out in the round of 16 by Leipzig. Ooh. But remember Messi's team is really strong. We're waiting for one of them to win the Champions League so they can move away, but they have a 65 rated center back. That's wrong. God, some of this team is really good and then other parts are just weird. Like, why do they have a right winger at right back? Ballon d'Or winner is Cristiano Ronaldo. He wins himself a Ballon d'Or. That's one Ballon d'Or for him in 2031. 99 overall, 26 years old. What a player. That's one for Ronaldo and none for Lionel Messi. Let's go to May and see if Messi can clap back with a Champions League or something. AC Milan have the Conference League theming. They have Valencia in the semi-finals. Oh boy. That Lionel Messi's never won himself a conference league. In the Serie A, however, they end up after 33 or 34 games, 35 games, they're fifth. So they're miles off the title. 21 points. However, they are also losing the EA Sports Cup. And, oh, okay, they're out of the Coppa Italia as well. Roma knocked them out in the quarterfinals. 1-0 on penalties. Champions League, we have no sign of Barcelona, but we do have Celtic beating PSG 3-0 on aggregate. God. Barcelona got knocked out by Juve, an Italian team. However, on an individual basis,
says Lionel Messi didn't win himself the Ballon d'Or, but can he do well statistically? 23 and 8 isn't really that good, and I think Ronaldo will probably do better than that. He was top scorer for his club though, and top assister, so he's pretty good at football still. Just a little bit disappointing, all things told. Valencia, and the first leg is a 2-1 win to Valencia. Okay. Well, let's see if Milan can come back. Can they do it? A one-all draw is not enough. Messi does score, but they get knocked out of the Conference League by Valencia. That's very poor. Ronaldo's 99 overall, still 24 and 11, so kind of similar to Messi, but he did win a Ballon d'Or, so Messi in the mud. Barcelona are sixth. Oh, wow, they fell off big time. Top of that league is Real Madrid with 79 points. I mean, Barcelona could jump up to fourth into Champions League places. I certainly hope they can anyway. They win the Super Cup against Real Madrid. No Copa de España, though. They get knocked out in the round of 32 to Betis. Okay. We already know the Champions League is Villarreal versus Celtic in less than 10 years' time from current day from recording, which is completely ridiculous. And Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi have kind of had dud years, to be honest. Roughly around fifth, sixth place themselves. And then personally, they got like 25 and seven, which is good. Don't get me wrong. But is it Ballon d'Or standards? Probably not, to be honest. I feel like they still have a lot to prove. And there is the 2034 World Cup coming up in two years. But for now, we'll sim to the Ballon d'Or and see if Ronaldo can go back to back or Messi can snatch his first. Ballon d'Or winner. Is it Messi, Ronaldo or someone else? It's Ronaldo again. Two years in a row for Cristiano Ronaldo. Lionel Messi in the bin. What's going on here? Villarreal and Real Madrid competing, but for some reason, Barcelona just aren't. Vallecano won the Copa de España. Frankfurt won the Super Cup. And Champions League, Barcelona are there. They're 2-1 down to Bayern, though, so not the best shout. They're going to have Bill Bow or Benfica in the final. That would be nice. Where are AC Milan? Oh, they might not be in any tournaments, actually, because they finished so poorly in the Serie A last year. Here we go. Jump to result. Can they do it? No. A 3-2 loss. Ansu Fadi with a goal, but they don't get another. Ronaldo doesn't score. And Barcelona crash out. 30% possession there as well, I think. That's ridiculous. Really, really low for a Barcelona team. They do have Real Madrid to play, though, still. So we'll just sim that out, I guess. Real Madrid versus Barcelona. 2-1 Real Madrid. Amazing. Mark Gay with the winner. Messi, 99 overall. Yeah, he's good at football, whatever. 19-4 and four isn't actually great, though. Especially not for, like, Messi. Oh, my God, they're 11th. What are they doing down here? How are they so bad? Messi's just stinking up the gaff. And for some reason, his teammates are just not helping him out. Leao's only getting worse. This Texera guy is 19. Okay, interesting that he's playing. They did buy a centre-back. Well, no, they didn't. They bought a right-back, and he's playing centre-back. Tamori is 35 and still holding it down. Alfonso Davies is still here. Xavi Simons is 30 on the wing. It's like, yeah, cool. But, like, win some games, you know? They're not really doing that much. With regards to player stats in the Serie A, Kvaratskhelia was the top scorer, and Messi is all the way down in 25th. Messi's all the way down in 25th. Not even near. Leao scored 15, outscored him in the Serie A. So a 99 rated Lionel Messi doesn't even get top scorer. Tied with Leao, but Leao got more in the Serie A. He got more in their Europa League. whoop de doo Oh, they did win the Coppa d'Italia, though. That's weird. How did they do so badly in the Serie A? Still, you know what? I'm not even going to question it. They won the Coppa d'Italia. Great. Champions League is Bayern Munich versus Let's Go Bilbao. It's as weird as it sounds. Ballon d'Or winner for 2033. It's Ronaldo again. The man's got three. He's a machine. He's incredible at football. And he's a Barcelona player. Cristiano Ronaldo goes back to back to back. A three-peat of Ballon d'Ors. And we're going to May. This year is important because it's a World Cup year. They seem to be winning nothing with their clubs, which is a bit weird. Don't really know why that is. However, the World Cup year is coming along. And that is incredible because Argentina and Portugal could win a World Cup. Well, Argentina could win it again. Or Portugal could make it one all. One for Messi and one for Ronaldo. We'll have to see. Ronaldo 99 overall. 26 and 9. Fine. 35 contributions in like 40-something games, which is decent. La Liga, they're fourth so yay champions league places brilliant but real madrid are destroying them 10 points clear no copa de España run no super cup obviously champions league they are there and two nil up against man city and real madrid are two nil up against man united two spanish teams for now Clasico, two manchester teams what a fascinating set of semi-finals we could see in our Clasico champions league final and if we see that we're definitely watching it milan are also in the europa league 2-1 down to liverpool but we don't really care as much about the europa league and they're probably doing terribly in their league so let's sim this last game out and pray that we we get an El Clasico final because it would be fun. Here we go. Barcelona versus Man City. Can Barcelona get through? A 1-0 loss. Got it a bit close, but they did do enough. They're through. And hopefully they'll be playing Real Madrid in the final. 2-0 up on aggregate. Is it going to be the final that we all want? Yes, it is. Barcelona versus Real Madrid in a Champions League final. Real Madrid could be on for a double here as well. A La Liga title and a Champions League is nothing to scoff at. Ronaldo's been in this position four times before and he's lost three three different times. However, this time it's a legacy defining moment because it's Real Madrid. This is what their team looks like. They have Julian Alvarez, Jude Bellingham is still there. A defensive Rico Lewis, Hartman, and then Todibo and Badia Chile in the middle and then a strong midfield and attack. It's a good Real Madrid team. Of course it is. They just won La Liga. 
over Barcelona. But this is what the Barcelona team looks like. I'm just going to make a few changes to what they would normally play with because this team is actually really good now. So this is what appears to be the normal team. Ronaldo starting up front as the best player in the world, three-time Ballon d'Or winner. They have Maynou starting in midfield, the Manchester United Academy graduate. They have Ruben Diaz, the captain, 37 years old in defense, as well as Kunde. Still Donnarumma and Neto, of course, we transferred him here. And then with regards to the bench, we just have these guys. Ferran Torres is still here. Ezel Zui is here. But we're all here for the Champions League final. Play match. It's in the Metropolitano, which is interesting. The Atletico Madrid Stadium for an El Clasico final. All Spanish in Spain. Let's see who can prevail. If Ronaldo wins this, it might just right the wrongs of his three Champions League failures. And if he doesn't win this, then that is legacy defining. Both teams have traveled across Europe. They've played everyone and they've won. And now they meet each other. The two Spanish clubs touring the continent have all returned back to Spain. It's Barcelona versus Real Madrid. Cristiano Ronaldo is one of the best players in the world and he will play in this final. Ronaldo in his excellence in a different club. Despite that, his legacy is still strong. Three-time Ballon d'Or winner, multiple-time trophy winner and he's a chance here. Cristiano Ronaldo with a shot. Blocked down early. Didn't quite win it back. Barcelona playing brilliant football as we can expect in the Champions League final. No matter the occasion, it's no different. Ronaldo to Menu. Brilliant football. What a goal from Barcelona. Absolutely sliced through the Real Madrid defense and Menu with the finish. Ronaldo with the assist and Barcelona with the quick start in the Champions League final. What a goal from Barcelona. And the Real Madrid defense all at sea. Brilliant finish from Manu, but he should have never had that much space in the box. From a tactical point of view, Real Madrid have to be scratching their heads. I believe Carlo Ancelotti is still the manager of Real Madrid in this simulation. Real Madrid now maintaining possession. Barcelona are usually known for their tiki-taka, but Real Madrid are doing it well here. Jude Bellingham now on the ball. Carvalho, edge of the box. There might be a chance here. Alvarez still on the ball. Alvarez tackles, shot, Carvalho! Oh, just wide of the post. Carvalho almost sneaks it in, but it doesn't quite work. And on comes, at this point, an old Vinicius Jr. Massive chance miss for Real Madrid. If Vinny was on that, who knows? Maybe he would have scored it. And it's Contreras. Brilliant touch from Contreras. He's running the last defender. Contreras through on goal. Contreras! Game over. Barcelona score second. Brilliant run from Contreras. And if I'm not mistaken, Ronaldo has a second assist of the Champions League final. And that will be that. Real Madrid lose. Barcelona and Cristiano Ronaldo win another Champions League final. They're two and three in finals, but oh my God, this is a big one. The El Clasico final. Cristiano Ronaldo is going to win it. Two assists for him, instrumental in the game. And ultimately, it's incredible to see a Spanish club beat another Spanish club in a Spanish stadium on the European stage. Cristiano Ronaldo is about to be a Champions League winner for the second time against Real Madrid. And now Barcelona just run out the clock. That's all they need to do. Contreras on the ball into Monomai, into Menu, into Monomai. Is there another chance here? for them. No, there's not. Time is off the clock, but it doesn't matter. Barcelona 2-0 victors over Real Madrid in the Champions League final, and they win. They win the Champions League for the second time, but you know what that means. We bought the players. We got Ronaldo his teammates, and here we are at the pinnacle of European football. But now Ronaldo needs a new challenge, and he's going to move to a brand new club. But for the moment, we will savor this and drink it in because Ronaldo's just won an El Clasico Champions League final with Barcelona, not Real Madrid. Interesting. And Anyway, here we are. Maynou and Contreras, the heroes on the day, but Cristiano Ronaldo, obviously instrumental in it all. Ruben Diaz, the Barcelona captain, instrumental as well. Barcelona, European champions once again. Cristiano Ronaldo is a European champion for the second time. And now he will leave. Now he will move on. He assembled his team. He won the Champions League, but now he needs a new challenge. He doesn't need the incredible teammates. He needs to go out there himself and dominate on his own to prove even if he doesn't have their help, he can do it. The only question is, where do we put him? Because Cristiano Ronaldo could end up in any sort of place. He's good enough to go basically anywhere in the world. And I would love to see him at a club that he's been before. And I think you know what I'm going to say. I think I would absolutely love to see him at Manchester United once again. He did return to Manchester United late in his career, but he was there earlier in his career for quite a long stint. And since we're reversing his career, why not just send him back and see how he does? Of course, Alejandro Garnacho is there as well. Rasmus Hoyland is there too 
82 and 89 overall, but Ronaldo's 99 overall and younger and better. So I think it would be interesting if we put Ronaldo on Manchester United's team, how would they do? Would they get any better? Would they get worse? Because things like that do happen. Football is a weird game after all. Let's do that. And there we go. Cristiano Ronaldo's a Manchester United player. Again, don't worry about him being a free agent. I'll adjust his potential and all that. But he is already 99 overall. So come on, cut me some slack. And this is the Manchester United team without Cristiano Ronaldo in it at all. Rashford's actually starting up front instead of Hoyland. Davies out on the right. And this formation, this is an absolute disgrace of a formation. I feel sick just looking at it. But if that's what they want to play, then I guess I can't stop them. Faria should be there. Collins should be in defense. Is that Irish color? Oh my God, that's bleak. Giordano should be there. They should swap. Onana oh, still in goals, interestingly. And of course, Ronaldo up front. Actually, no. Ronaldo's not up front. Ronaldo's on the right wing. Because at this point in his career, he was a winger, not really a striker. Remember, we're like moving in reverse. So at this point, he's like, what, 27 in real life-ish? And when he was 27 in real life, he was like on the wing slash up front. In FIFA, he was on the wing anyway. So I'm going to make him a right winger. And the highest rated player of the club is, of course, Ronaldo. But now he's a right winger. I also said he could play on the striker or on the left wing, whatever he prefers. It's, you know, up to him. But he'll probably end up on the right, or he definitely should anyway. Manchester United last season finished 14th. Oh my god, yeah, it's probably that formation. Oh well, not my decision. They did win the FA Cup though, which is good. And of course, they lost in the semi-finals of the Champions League. 6-0 like to Real though, it's kind of shaky. But anyway, we're here, we're moving, and we're gonna go and check out Messi. Yeah, Messi's still here, 99 overall, 21 and seven. So that's what, 28 contributions in 53 games. They did finish second though, two points off Inter, which is a shame. They didn't win the A Sports Cup or the Coppa Italia, but did they win the Europa League? Remember, they were in it. And they did on penalties over Sociedad. So AC Milan and Messi won the Europa League, but Ronaldo and Barcelona won the Champions League. I think I know which team I'd rather play for. And I want your bets if Lionel Messi was a top scorer for AC Milan. He was tied with Simmons, but Simmons got more in the Serie A, so Messi didn't win. Oh no, more appearances. So yeah, Xavi, Xavi Simon scored more technically. Anyway, whatever. Doesn't matter. None of this club football stuff matters. It's all about your country dying for your badge because let's go to the World Cup. Let's go. Who do we have? What's the story? What's going on? I feel like I'm having a stroke. Anyway, these are the group stages. One game actually played for each nation and Argentina are third. So they haven't actually played. Portugal, on the other hand, are last in their group. They lost to Ukraine who were in the World Cup final against Argentina, so they must be good. In the group stage, Portugal are... Ooh, third. Everyone has a zero goal difference for some reason. Argentina, on the other hand, are second, so they definitely get through. Only three points, though, and three draws. That's horrific. Did Portugal get through? They did, and they beat France. Oh, my God. So Portugal are in the quarterfinals. What about Argentina? They beat Finland. So in the quarterfinals, Portugal have Spain, who always knock them out, and Argentina have Mexico. Okay, this is interesting. They could end up in a final against each other. And that could be interesting. I'd like to see that. Ah, Portugal got knocked out. Brilliant. There goes Cristiano Ronaldo's World Cup hopes down the drain. Just like that. Well, for the moment, anyway. Let's see if Argentina can do any better. They do. They get a 2-0 win over Mexico. Now they have the Netherlands. Yeah, it could have been a Portugal-Argentina World Cup final, but so much for that. Argentina versus the Netherlands. I am praying for Messi. Well, I'm, I'm actually kind of not, to be honest. I'm kind of praying that the Netherlands win because that would kind of put Messi out of site I feel like and it's gonna be the Netherlands winning okay Norway versus Argentina in the third place playoff we're not gonna bother with that that's really really interesting because Messi has won one World Cup and he's been instrumental in winning that one World Cup but Ronaldo has three Ballon d'Ors so does that automatically make it better well we'll just have to see we'll see if Messi can win this one but Messi's also won more Champions League so he's got more team success Ronaldo did win two Champions Leagues though and three Ballon d'Ors I don't know I actually don't know who has had a better career so far. It's really close. Ballon d'Or, please be Messi, or is it going to be Ronaldo? It's neither. It's Haaland. Why is it Haaland? How has he snuck his way in there? There is no way Haaland is better than Messi and Ronaldo. There's just no way. There was 99. They're like basically... Per Do you know what? Doesn't matter. It's just Haaland things. Anyway, let's just go to the end of the year. Cristiano Ronaldo, he's here, and that's the front three, by the way. Garnacho, Hoyland, and Ronaldo, really, really strong, but the rest of the team, it's like, eh, kind of okay. Lavia is here now. Almeida in defense, just a random dude. 
Onana is regressing and Ronaldo is still at a 99 overall at 30 years old. He's just crossed the barrier now. Stats wise, 30 and 7. Good season for him. 19 in the Prem is pretty decent. But of course, no Ballon d'Or this year for him. Standings wise, they're fourth. So they went from 11th to fourth just with Ronaldo. Fulham are third. That's realistic, I'm sure. Down in the drop zone, we have Southampton, Sheffield and Bournemouth. Okay, that is actually realistic. Chelsea are mid-table. That's also realistic. Liverpool kind of down there. That's not really realistic. FA Cup is Wolves versus Norwich. That's a weird one. Man, you did win the Carabao Cup though. Interesting. They beat Arsenal in the semis and West Ham in the final. And Milan did win the Super Cup over Barcelona with Lionel Messi. But in the Champions League, it's Barcelona and AC Milan are there. They just beat PSG. That's massively interesting because it could have been Milan, Barcelona in the final. And now I'm kind of annoyed that I transferred Ronaldo because Barcelona versus Milan in the final would have been good. Nope. Manchester United are in the Europa League. Brilliant. Well, Cristiano Ronaldo can go for your Europa League. Hey, hey they're 1 0 up against Nice. Can they convert the lead that they have? They do on penalties, barely. But they do have Munch and Gladbach in the final, but it's the Europa League, so I really don't care. They beat Chelsea, and Nottingham Forest is also a win. 2 1 win as well. That means in the Premier League, that leaves them in third place for the end of the year. Arsenal and then Man City at the top. Fulham fell out of the Champions League spot, gutted for them. And can Manchester United convert this opportunity? Win themselves a bit of silverware? No, they lost on penalties. Ortega scored, Lavia missed, and that was it. Ronaldo missed his penalty. Okay, so Ronaldo bottled the Europa League final. Brilliant. And while Ronaldo's out here bottling Europa League finals, let's see if Lionel Messi can win himself a Champions League against Ronaldo's old club, Barcelona. Which feels really weird to say because it's technically his old club too. And here we go. They are in a Champions League final against Liverpool. So Barcelona actually bottled bottled it. Brilliant. That's really nice to know. And this is what the AC Milan team looks like. Openda would be starting up front ahead of Leao. In midfield, it would be Muretti. In defense, it would be Ewing. And that's what the team looks like. It's a good AC Milan team, although I kind of expect better, especially up front. But here we go. Can Messi convert Champions League again? Yeah, on penalties and he scored his. They won 3-1. They only needed to take three penalties because Liverpool missed three. That's embarrassing. Very embarrassing. There was also a 3-3 game, by the way. Messi didn't score but Simon's got two and Openda got a goal. Liverpool equalised in the 109th sent it to penalties and then missed three. That is embarrassing. An exact replica of the 2005 Istanbul final, except AC Milan won. It was three all in the game and that was it. No more to be said. Milan won it. So Lionel Messi's won himself another Champions League title. I'm almost certain he's flawless in Champions League finals, which is completely ridiculous and should not be allowed. But here we are. He's still not won a Ballon d'Or though, which is really interesting. He's done everything. World Cup, Champions League, all of that. But the Ballon d'Or eludes him. Ronaldo's got three of them. Messi's got none. Oh yeah, they won the Champions League. So Messi gets a transfer, right? Messi gets transferred. Okay, where's he going to go? Uh, where do we put Messi? Well, I think it makes sense to put him on Barcelona or PSG. It's one or the other. And we're reversing his career. So technically he'd be like younger at this point. He's like 30 now, which means we'll say he's like 24-ish. So like at 24, he was in Barcelona. So we just put him at Barcelona, right? We're reversing Messi and Ronaldo's career. So they start old and gradually get younger. If that makes sense. And at this point, Messi... Messi is 30 in this simulation, which means as he's old in this one, he's actually quite young in real life, about 24. And at 24, he was with Barcelona. So I'm just going to send him to Barcelona, which is exactly where Cristiano Ronaldo was. So let's see if Ronaldo and Messi can have different influences on the same team, or are they just going to both win? And this is the current state of the team. Not the best situation I've ever seen, to be honest. Nezovic is still here. Andreasen is here. Diaz is now garbage. Nyanzu should be starting. Still a good team, though. Still a definitely a good team. And they'll do even better with Lionel Messi on their hands. And now Messi's a Barcelona player. We can just plug him straight into this team. Torres is gone. Messi is here. At this point in his career, he wasn't really a right winger, though. He was more of a central attacker. There we go. Now he's a striker. And he's also number 32. Okay, that's better. 2035 Ballon d'Or. Ronaldo's nominated, but Messi's not. Where is Lionel Messi? The man is just repelled against the Ballon d'Or. He's just not nominated at all. Nobody wants to give him votes. Nobody wants to give him a credit that he deserves. Maybe. But can Ronaldo scoop up a fourth? Yeah. Cristiano Ronaldo's got himself four Ballon d'Ors. Lionel Messi has no but he does have a World Cup. Which is more valuable? Here we are, Barcelona. Messi's 99 overall and still good. Stats-wise, 19 and 13. So kind of what he's been doing this whole time. Just trundling along. Oh, no, we don't want to advance. They have Manchester United in the Europa League. Oh, oh, that's 
really good. Okay. Man United won the first leg 2-1. We're definitely going to watch this. In La Liga, they're like, what, third? Yeah, okay, I don't care. They have Manchester United in the Europa League. That's Cristiano Ronaldo versus Lionel Messi. It would be absolutely sacrilegious if we didn't watch it. Oh, God, I hate myself. Let's just play the match. Okay, let's just play the match. Here we go. Cristiano Ronaldo versus Lionel Messi. We've been here before, and Messi won last time in the Champions League final. However, Cristiano Ronaldo has a head start. He has a one-goal advantage. Can he use it to supersede Lionel Messi? Barcelona do have home advantage in favour. Of course, away goals have been scrapped at this point. Hoyland on the ball. Hoyland into Dorado. Into Garnacho! There we go. It's an Argentine scoring in this fixture, but it's not Lionel Messi. It's the other winger, Alejandro Garnacho. The Manchester United Academy graduate scores. And Manchester United take the lead against Barcelona. Massive goal. Barcelona now need two to draw this game. And there we go. Half time. Manchester United take a lead into the breaks. They're winning on the night and they're winning in the tie. 3 1 up overall. Barcelona need two. At least two. And they need a hero. Who is it going to be? Maybe that man there, Lionel Messi. Hopefully for him, it will be. Half time in the game. It's 1 0. Into Baleba. Baleba with the shot. That's it. There we go. Game over. Man United have two. And 4-1 on aggregate is more than enough to send Manchester United through to the next round of the Europa League, which is actually the final. Lionel Messi falls more than short and Cristiano Ronaldo is more than safe. Brilliant display from Manchester United. And to be honest, Barcelona just kind of soulless. Didn't really have a single chance really in this whole game, apart from at the very start. And at this point, we may as well just run out the clock. There we go. Barcelona crash out. Lionel Messi crashes out. And Ronaldo and Manchester United progress. They win this time around. Lionel Messi suffers again to the hands of Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo, see we? He's 99 overall, 21 and 9, 30 total. That's pretty decent. Not top scorer though. That goes to Garnacho of all people. Top assists also goes to Diouf. So Ronaldo kind of a pretty good Man United player, but on the world stage, probably not a Ballon d'Or winner. Hoyland's also begun regressing, 33 years old. Garnacho's now 31 and Ronaldo is also 31. They did finish sixth in the Premier League. Well, so far they're not going to win it or anything, so don't worry about that. They are also in the final of the FA Cup, so so they could do an FA Cup and Europa League double, which would be nice. Milan also won the Super Cup. So there's Messi's old club succeeding again. Arsenal versus Stad Ren is weird. Leipzig versus Manchester United is what we're going to simulate though. They lose a Manchester derby. Last day against Spurs is a draw. So one point from their last six, two points from that last possible nine because they also drew with Luton after the Barcelona game. But can they get a win? Can they do it in the Europa League final? Can Manchester United win it? Yeah, 4-1 is massive. Ronaldo with a brace, De Youth and Lopez score. Manchester United win themselves a Europa League title just like Messi did with AC Milan a couple of years ago and can Manchester United make it two trophies in one season two trophies in a week against Brighton no a 2-1 loss Hutchinson with a goal and Hutchinson with another they also had a red card in Giordano Baleba with a goal for Manchester United who also scored in that Europa League semi-final against Messi and Barcelona but Brighton was too strong Ballon d'Or nominees are in who is it going to be I suppose Ronaldo's going to get nominated he isn't but Messi is that's interesting three random players and Lionel Messi he could win his first First ever Ballon d'Or. And is it going to be Messi? Yes! Lionel Messi wins a Ballon d'Or. So that's four for Ronaldo, but Messi wins his first one. Maybe he can get a couple back on Ronaldo. Oh, this is interesting. So Messi has finally won the most important individual award in football. I wonder if he can keep going and win a couple more. Because if he wins as many Ballon d'Ors as Ronaldo, I think it's a known contest who is the better player because Messi won the World Cup. But I don't know. Four Ballon d'Ors versus one is a substantial difference. Oh, Champions League for Barcelona and Lionel Messi. Messi himself hasn't regressed at all. He's 99 overall. 32 years old, so you may start to see signs of regression. However, it's not here yet. 23 and 11 is also very good. Top scorer, though, is Ansu Fati at 34 years old and 84 overall. In the Champions League, they have Manchester City, so not Manchester United, the other team from Manchester. First leg's a two-all draw. All comes down to the second leg. This is huge for Barcelona. Can Lionel Messi win himself a Champions League with Barcelona? Can he do it against Manchester City in the semi-final? No. Oh my god, they got battered. Man City win 5-2. Haaland with a brace. Rodrigo, Rivea, and Tele all score. Ansu Fati and Mario score as well, but obviously it's not enough. 7-4 on aggregate is mega. Haaland showing that he's still got it, even against the Ballon d'Or winner. And the other semi-final could have had a Clasico, but both of the Spanish teams lost. So it's going to be Man City versus Juve in the final. No sign of Manchester United anywhere though. In La Liga, Barcelona are currently second. 13 points behind Real Madrid though, so they're not going to get near the title. They did win the Supercopa though on penalties and no Copa de España. They lost in the quarters to Vallecano. That's poor. In the Europa League, yeah, no sign of Manchester United and no no conference league either. AC Milan are there though, which is bleak. Glad Messi left when he did. Champions League this time, but for Cristiano Ronaldo and Manchester United, this is weird. If there's any team I expected to contend for the Champions League, it would be Barcelona, not really Manchester.
Manchester United. And they have Arsenal. Wow, an all English affair. They beat Barcelona in the quarterfinals. So Messi's gone. They won 5-4 on aggregate, winning 4-3 in the final game of the tie. And then they have Arsenal. My God, what happened? Let's go, quick sim. Can Ronaldo win? 1-0 down. Okay, we're still going. We're still going. We're still moving. Come on. Oh, 3-1 win. Oh my God, brilliant. Cristiano Ronaldo is in another European final. Remember, he's 2-3 and three in European finals. It's going to be 2-4, or, or is he going to get even? It's going to be Juventus or Stad Ren. So they need to win the Champions League final to actually qualify for the Champions League. Top of the league is West Ham. Second is Leicester. Fourth is Brighton. The Premier League is a mess. It's all gone downhill. However, Cristiano Ronaldo is, of course, here, but he's regressed for the very first time. He's 90 six overall 33 years old stats wise 18 and 9 still Humphrey whoever he is is the top scorer for the club again top assists was Andy Duff from the midfield Manchester United team is good is it Champions League final worthy maybe not especially because they have a 67 rated center back they do have this Carrasco guy though that they can play still though I feel like this team isn't quite Champions League final worthy although Ronaldo plays for them so that does help they're not in any FA Cup final or anything we're going to sim straight to the Champions League final and we are going to simulate straight through it we're done really with Champions League finals, watching them anyway, because damn, we've watched like four of them. Feels like four anyway, it's been a lot. And we're gonna see if Ronaldo can draw even. Ren versus Man United, I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look, I'm not gonna look. I'm gonna predict the score, how about that? Let me, um. what's the best way to do this? Just like this. All right, there's a simulation. I'm gonna say it was 3-1 to Man United. I'm gonna say Hoyland scored. I'm gonna say Ronaldo scored. And I'm gonna say Diop scored. Oh! 2-1 to Man United. Who scored? Diop scored. And Ronaldo got subbed off. Brilliant. But Manchester United did win the Champions League. Ronaldo gets himself his third Champions League medal. Now he's 3-3. Three and three. He's made six Champions League finals. That's incredible. That's completely unprecedented. And Lionel Messi, well, he did pretty well in the Champions League finals as well, to be fair. He didn't lose as many as Ronaldo. But let's see how he's doing at Barcelona. Messi is 97 overall. Again, he has regressed. Not quite as much as Ronaldo, but very similar anyway. Statistically, 23-13. and 13, So 36 and 15. 51, pretty solid. 97 overall though, so I'm kind of expecting like more even appearances and goals assists together. Barcelona finished third. They were six points behind Real Madrid. Very, very bad again, but they did win the Supercopa. What about? Nah, no good in the Copa de España. They lost in the round of 32 to Villarreal. Yeah, not too bad. Could be worse. They, no Supercup. Champions League, they are not there. They got knocked out by Man United, of course, as we know. Top score in La Liga. I like checking these from time to time just to see who turns up. Who have we got? Got Abline for Real Vallecano. That's interesting. Janssen for Barcelona. Guts for Real Sociedad. Kajmarek for Osasuna. And all the way down at 14, we have Lionel Messi. Just beside Zaire Emery and Fati, but not Ansi Fati, a different Fati. Sounds like an insult when I say it like that. Anyway, let's go to the World Cup. And which one of the group stages do we have this time around? Portugal have Iceland, Romania, Mexico. That's an easy group stage. That's a really easy one. But for Argentina, France, Croatia, Finland. Tough, very tough. Hopefully they can both get through. Hopefully they can both make it to the final, play against each other in one mega game and see who's better. That would be really cool, but I don't think that's going to happen. Or it's very unlikely anyway. Let's see what happens. In the World Cup, Portugal finished second. Iceland won all three games. They're going crazy. And Argentina finished third. Is that enough to get through? Yeah, they should be good to get through. Round of 16, nobody's here. Next, Portugal do get through. Oh, Argentina are here. Oh, I'm stupid. They lost to Germany. 3-1, great. But Ireland won, so I don't really care. Unlucky Messi, Pessy more like. Portugal did win, though. They beat Croatia, so Ronaldo is on for a World Cup quarterfinals. They have France to play. That's a tough matchup. And Portugal beat France. Oh, my God. Okay, Ireland lost, so I'm kind of gutted about that. But Portugal are through. Semi-finals, they have the Netherlands. Okay, last World Cup, Argentina had the Netherlands in the semi-finals, and they lost lost. Let's see if Portugal can do what Argentina couldn't do. Come on, Portugal. Come on, Ronaldo. Can he do it? They haven't played yet. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Oh, they won! They won! They won on penalties. Both teams won on penalties. It's Portugal versus Belgium in the World Cup final. I simply have to watch this. I simply have to watch this. Let's watch it. In this simulation, Messi has won the World Cup in 2026 at the first time of asking. Can Cristiano Ronaldo do it at the last time of asking? He's 34 and by the time the next World Cup rolls around, he'll be 38. Simply too old to get picked. He won't be selected for the team, but this is his opportunity. This is the first World Cup final he's played in. He's 3-3 three and three in Champions Leagues. Can he convert on the biggest stage of all? It's the World Cup final. We're going to jump to tactical view and watch it from the sidelines. Can Cristiano Ronaldo cement his legacy as wait for it, the GOAT of football? We took their careers and put them in reverse. We started them at Al Nazar and Inter Miami, and now they're back at Barcelona and Manchester United. Let's see if he can win the biggest prize in football. Belgium will be strong though. They get a first chance and they 
score straight off the bat. Belgium take the lead. Portugal in disarray, defending extremely poorly. And Belgium capitalise and they're already 1-0 down. They need to bounce back and they need to do it now. Durinville. Durinville. Still Durinville. That's 2-0. That's 2-0 in the World Cup final. This is a massive mountain for Portugal to climb. Durinville scores the goal and Belgium take a two-goal advantage. This is massive, especially in a game with three-minute halves. Ronaldo is going to need a lot to come back from this. But there's still a chance. It's still the first half. There's loads of times. And we've seen stranger things happen in these simulations, believe me. And that's halftime. Just like that. 45 minutes left to save your World Cup campaign. And it's the final. The biggest game in world football. This is where you need your stars to perform. Can Cristiano Ronaldo do it when so many others cannot? Great ball, Pinto. Big chance. There we go. There's one for Portugal. 57th minute. They have 33 minutes left, which is plenty of time to draw this game level. Pinto with a brilliant finish. Portugal are in this. Portugal are really in this. Duranville now on the left-hand side. Duranville cuts inside to Basset. And that's going to be it. That's going to be the winner. The World Cup final is over. Belgium are going to be the world champions in 2038. Portugal have fallen short as they have done before and as they will do again. Man of the match has to be Lavia, by the way. He's been incredible for Belgium. And um, Lionel Messi wins the World Cup, but Ronaldo doesn't. They both got to a final. Messi converted his opportunity. He was more clutch. Ronaldo ran over the end line for whatever reason. That's going to be the end of the World Cup final. That's going to be the end of Ronaldo's hope of bringing Portugal to the promised land, to world glory. That's going to be it. Belgium are the world champions. Cristiano Ronaldo falls short again in a major final. I'm actually gutted, to be honest, because if they both won a World Cup, I feel like it could have been a bit more of a competition. Granted, Ronaldo has won more Ballon d'Or, so maybe you could make the argument that he's still better. But in the World Cup final, Ronaldo lost and Messi won. And in the Champions League, Messi does have a better record. Although Ronaldo might have actually... No, they've won the same amount of Champions Leagues and Messi has a better record. And in the Champions League, they've, I think they've won the same or very similar amount and Messi has won more Champions Leagues. So I think that makes Messi better in that front as well. The only thing that Ronaldo really has over Messi is stats probably and the Ballon d'Or. Like in-game stats like goals and assists and then Ballon d'Or votes. The only thing Messi, the only thing Ronaldo really has over Messi is like counting stats like goals and assists and Ballon d'Ors. And Messi has, I think, basically everything else. But let's see here. When we approach the 2038 Ballon d'Or, we're a long way down the road now. Who is going to win it? Because Messi has two and if he wins this one, well, that makes it three. That brings the narrow gap even narrower between these two. And the Ballon d'Or winner is Lionel Messi. The man's got three and Ronaldo has four, but Messi is chasing. And I'll be completely honest, I would be surprised if Messi doesn't win a fourth, possibly next year. Really interesting to see what happens there. But from Cristiano Ronaldo's perspective, how do you justify calling him the GOAT when Messi has done things that he hasn't done, such as win a World Cup? Ronaldo's still here. He's regressed to a 93 overall. 20 and 13 though, one of his best counting stats seasons. Luke Humphrey. Louis Humphreys has got 25 and 10. Very impressive. But in team competitions, Ronaldo and Manchester United finished third. Liverpool topped the Premier League so far. They're in the FA Cup final, though. That's good. No Carabao Cup for them, though. That's Aston Villas. They won the Super Cup after winning the Champions League. And they're in the Champions League semi-final. Barcelona are in the other one in an El Clasico. They're both losing, though. Barcelona and Manchester United. Can Man U come back? They have Liverpool to play and Liverpool win. So Liverpool will probably win the title. But Manchester United could maybe win the Champions League. And they could have Barcelona in the final. Oh, my God. They won 2-0. Oh my God, they're in the final. They're in the final of the Champions League and it's going to be against Real Madrid. Okay, Barcelona won 1-0. It was almost a Messi versus Ronaldo Champions League final, but it wasn't. Manchester United are not going to win the Premier League, basically no matter what happens. Can they win the FA Cup against Wolverhampton Wanderers? A 2-0 win is enough. Can they win the Champions League? Cristiano Ronaldo has made the Champions League final again. It's going to be both of the clubs he's most prominently played for, Manchester United and Real Madrid. Can Cristiano Ronaldo do it? Come on. Oh! Due with a brace and Ben Sig gear with a goal. Ronaldo did score though for Manchester United, but Real win the Champions League. Ronaldo's now three and four in Champions League finals, but he did make seven Champions League finals, which is completely ridiculous. Messi as well has gone down. He's down to a 95 overall. This might actually be Messi's final chance at winning the Ballon d'Or next year, because after next year, he'll probably just simply be too low rated. However, 22 and 12, 34 and 54 is pretty solid. Financially wise, he's worth 153 million, despite being 34, about double what Mario was worth, which is completely absurd. Barcelona as well finished top. Wow, nine points clear of Girona in second place. They do win the Supercopa. No Copa de España though. That goes to Celta Vigo. Manu won the Supercopa. We know that. And Barcelona got knocked out by Real Madrid in the semi-finals of the Champions League. Top scores in La Liga were Vidal for Valencia, Hassan for Almeria, and Czech for Real Madrid. That's not a goalkeeper. Torres. Ferran Torres, I imagine. Wait, really? Ferran Torres? Ferran. Yeah, Ferran. 
Ferran Torres, 39 year old, 66 overall. Ferran Torres got himself some goals. How many goals did Ferran Torres score? He scored 18, 16 in La Liga. He's the lowest rated player at the entire club. How? How is this happening? Why is this real? That's the situation with Barcelona. We know the situation with Manchester United. We're just going to sim out next year. Let's see. Can Lionel Messi equal Cristiano Ronaldo's four Ballon d'Ors? Or can Ronaldo win another one? Extend his lead. Maybe even become the GOAT. Let's see. Here we go. We're simulating to it now. We're simulating to the 1st of November, which is where I always simulate to to check the Ballon d'Or results. Cristiano Ronaldo versus Lionel Messi. We've completely reversed their careers. There's a difference in the Ballon d'Or votes. Uh, who's going to win this? one it's gonna be messy it's gonna be messy oh my god they're equal they're equal in ballon d'ors messi goes four in a row ronaldo gets four in five years the pair of them have four ballon d'ors oh my god could messi win a fifth next year no way right there's just no way that's insane the comeback from messi by the way he went so high at the start of his career obviously so high at the end of his career with four ballon d'ors and through the middle he did like nothing ronaldo was catching up and then messi came through nah i'll just get i'll just win four ballon d'ors yeah no problem yeah See you later. Messi's down to a 92, but he's the Ballon d'Or winner. So literally, nobody cares. 17 and 12. Statistically, one of his worst seasons. I think he's 29 overall in counting stats, which is fine, I guess. We're not including clean sheets. Come on, grow up. Anyway, standings, they're fourth. Okay, so they're definitely down the table. Sevilla topped by a good margin. They lost the Super Copa to Celta Vigo. They won the Copa de España, though, which is nice. Real Madrid won the Super Cup. Champions League, no luck. Aston Villa, Monaco, Lazio, and Real. Real's the only normal team that we normally see in this stage of the competition. The other three are certainly more or less newcomers. Look at this. Torino, Udinese, Stuttgart there as well. Vallecano, Stad Rennes, Salzburg, Nice, Hamburg. What happened to what? Galata, what happened? Juve got bounced real early. Dortmund got bounced real early. Liverpool too. We've seen Gladbach in the later stages. They got bounced. Man United got bounced real early as well. They're in the Europa League. And then they lost in the quarters to Leverkusen. Oh my God, what happened? Either way, Messi's doing really, really well. He's winning stuff, but not the Champions League again. He got bounced. So we're just going to go straight over to Ronaldo and see how he's doing. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. He's regressed as well to a 90 overall, which is very interesting. 35 years old. The end is near. He's almost not the highest rated player at the club anymore, which is weird. 60 games all year though. That's insane. 23 and 5 from that is yeah, 28 and 60. I feel like he could do better. Manchester United finishing 10th in the Premier League relegated. We're born with Southampton and Crystal Palace. Well, there's still a couple of games to go, but it's looking pretty locked in. Up the top of the table, we have Man City. Luton finishing 6th. Sixth, which is nuts. Everton in the Champions League places too. Manchester United won the Community Shield. They're not in the FA Cup final. It's Ipswich versus Man City. That's a weird one. Man United got knocked out by Leeds, apparently. In the Carabao Cup, they lost in the final against Fulham, which is a shame. And then obviously we know about their escapades in the Europa League. Cristiano Ronaldo doing okay. In the Premier League though, the top score for this year was Bach for Manchester City. And no, not the composer. Machado for Newcastle was also second top scorer. Mukoko plays for Everton. That's why they're so good. Belize plays for West Ham. That's why they're so good. Good. Arda Guleia is now playing for Fulham. Ortiz for Chelsea. Nezovic for Everton. I think he was the one that played with Barcelona with Messi and Ronaldo. And no sign of Cristiano Ronaldo on any of this list at all. Barcelona are in the Champions League. Okay. Lionel Messi could win another one. It's Man City and they drew the first leg one all. Can they win it? Can they get through to the final? A 3-2 win is enough. And who's it going to be in the Champions League final? We'll find it in a moment. But Messi's got a red card in the league at the moment. He is down to an 88 overall with 55 pace. The man cannot move. On the the year stats wise he is still the highest rated player at barcelona 36 years old 32 and 8 so 40 and 52 actually probably his best statistical season we've seen probably in the standings though barcelona are fourth real madrid are top by 20 points over sevilla and almost 30 over barcelona which is mega they also win the super copa copa de España goes to sevilla super cup goes to real champions league will be juve or inter milan so no sign of manchester united who are not even in the group stage oh yeah should they finish mid table last season. Okay, yeah, they're not in any European competition at all. And here we go. It's Lionel Messi versus his old club. Milan versus Barcelona in the Olympia Stadion. This is the Barcelona team. It'll be Akpan up front. It'll be Koren not playing because Fischer will be playing. Laurent will be playing. Linkvist will be playing. That's the team. This is the best Barcelona team they have. Can they beat AC Milan? Can Messi win another? Yes, he does. A 3-2 win. Lionel Messi maintains his incredible Champions League finals record. He wins another Champions League title for himself. What an incredible career for Lionel. Messi. This time he does it with his boyhood club Barcelona. Let's go to Manchester United and see how Cristiano Ronaldo did. Let's see if he's any more low rated than Lionel
taking out Messi. Remember, Messi's 88 overall. My prediction is that Ronaldo will be 86 overall. That's my guess. He could be 87 though. And Ronaldo is not the highest rated player of the club. Oh, okay. He's 87 overall. Contract expiring in 12 months. I'm sure they'll renew him. 128 million, 36 years old. is an absolute joke. Statistically, 24 and 7. Not the best season. 31 contributions. Not top scorer again. That goes to Mendez from center mid. What a beast. Uh, slash right wing. So there you go. Top assists. Also Mendez. What a monster. Two Portuguese beasts smashing it in the Premier League. And in the actual Premier League table, they finished 15th, which is scarily close to the relegation zone. Spurs finished 17th. Not even 40 points for them. They stayed up by a point. Spurs drew on the last day and Wolves won. And Spurs just about had enough to stay up. That's incredible. Top of the Premier League, though, is Liverpool, followed by Brighton City and West Ham. What a weird, weird Premier League table. In the FA Cup, Brighton win it. In the Carabao Cup, Everton win it. In the Super Cup, we know. In the Champions League, we know. So let's just sim to next year and see what happens. I think time's up for the Ballon d'Or, but I'll still check it anyway. Here we go. The Ballon d'Or once again. Any luck. We do have the nominees for this year, and it's just random players. Ronaldo and Messi are gone. No Ballon d'Ors left, so there's no point even looking. Let's just sim straight through to May and see if our players can pick up any more team silverware before the end. Now, 2042 is also a World Cup, but they won't get picked for their national teams. They probably might be good enough to just sit on the reserves, but to be honest, they're too old. They won't get picked up, and I will prove it by going to the Argentine national team and showing that Lionel Messi will not be there. Manchester United and Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo's down to an 84. Scrolling a little bit to get to him. A great veteran. 8 and 7 on the season. Not a very good year for him. Manchester United as well. They're in 16th. They're really, really struggling, and they could actually still theoretically go down. I don't think they will, though, but there's still a chance. There's still a chance, and that is terrifying. Up the top of the table, it's Man City, Liverpool, Arsenal, and Chelsea. All the big players that are not Manchester United and Spurs. Top score this season in the Premier League. I'm going to get better Man City player. I was wrong. Phillips for Nottingham Forest. I would have never guessed that. Did Manchester United win anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Any no, they didn't. But here's the World Cup groups. Portugal, Norway, Ireland, and Qatar. So Ronaldo will be playing against Ireland. That's fun. Argentina, on the other hand, have Italy, Sweden, and Ukraine. The World Cup final replay of 2026. Long time ago now, isn't it? Anyway, let's go. Did Barcelona win anything? Thing. Not La Liga, anyway, they're fourth. Miles off the pace. No Copa de España. They did win the Super Cup, which we did see, but no, they're not in anything else. Brighton are in the Champions League semi-final, but Barcelona are not. Lionel Messi is down to an 86 overall. That's really interesting. No longer the highest rated player at the club. That's their left back. Messi gets 13 and 8. So yeah, definitely a regression in stats there as well. Financial 110 mil still. So he's still the highest value player at the entire club, which makes no sense because Mario is just better and younger. But anyway, here we are. And I don't really have anything else left to say. It's time to simulate through these last couple of years at a rapid pace, like we always do, and see if our players can pick up anything, any little scraps to help them in the GOAT debate as we go on. Let's see. I made this promise and I'm delivering on it. Argentinian FA. Messi is just not going to be here. Yeah, he's not here. Lionel Messi is not on this Argentine World Cup team and you can bet that Ronaldo is not on Portugal's World Cup team either. I'm not going to check the World Cup because this is a simulation about reversing Ronaldo and Messi's careers. And Ronaldo and Messi aren't in the World Cup, so there's no point. Barcelona, we're back. Messi's 83 overall, still going. We have to scroll down quite a while to get to him. Still a great veteran and not quite retiring. Also not a free agent, which is really really good barcelona are fifth no copper no super cup no champions league no europa league and no conference league i'm rotting away despite messi's lackluster rating overall 18 and 7 on the year for an 83 rated 38 year old that's pretty good that's pretty good manchester united and cristiano ronaldo they're still going but ronaldo's 80 overall a great veteran 7 and 7 on the year still there though which is very good they finished 17th teetering okay they could relegate we're gonna simulate this out brentford and wolves could overtake them cristiano ronaldo could be playing in the championship next Next year that's ridiculous this manchester united team okay yeah fine it is pretty bad but i don't think it's like championship bad i think that's a bit harsh although to be fair ronaldo is still starting he's 38 pace the man can't move let's see if manchester united can stay up crystal palace they win okay that's probably them safe leicester they draw and then the last game of the season aston villa they draw yeah so they're definitely safe right yeah they finished 17 38 points four points away from relegation oh my god did they win 
win anything? Did they 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 win anything? No, okay, they win nothing. Next season, let's go. Messi's still here. 79 overall, 33 pace. The man is a shell of his former self. 39 years old as well. We've just scrolled a long way to get to him. And he's still a player for the history books, but it doesn't say he's retiring yet. 16 and 7 on the year is good. Barcelona are top of La Liga by four points. They didn't win any other cups. No Champions League, Europa League, no luck. And Conference League, nothing either. Let's go see if Manchester United have been relegated. Actually, let's submit the rest of this La Liga season. It's probably important. Espanyol is a draw. Celta Vigo is a loss. Girona is a loss as well. Oh my God, Barcelona are terrible. And they lose the last game. A horrible month. They don't win La Liga, do they? No, they finished fourth. Horrific. And that is why you always submit to the end of the season. I've got plenty of comments that love me for not doing that. Cristiano Ronaldo, he is here. 77 overall, still alive. But look at how far we have to scroll to get to him as well. Poe down here, contract expiring in 12 months. I bet you he'll retire by the end of next year. His stats are not very good. The standings are better than last year. They're 14th, but 39 points is only one more than they got last time around. Leicester with 15 points and 31 losses is tough. Any luck in the cup competitions? No, they didn't win anything. Excellent. Let's sim out another year. Ronaldo's still here and actually still a gold card. 75 overall. Scrolling the whole way down here. Still a player for the history books. No games played. I bargain he'll retire by the end of next year. However, yeah, he did sign another contract, but he might just retire. I'm not quite sure yet. No games played, but Manchester United finished seventh in the Premier League. No FA Cup, no Carabao Cup, no Super Cup, no Champions League or Europa League or Conference League for either Barcelona or Manchester United. But we'll still check on Messi anyway. Messi, on the other hand, is 76 overall. So more or less the same as Cristiano Ronaldo. One overall in the difference. The scrolling we have to get to to get to him is mad. Retiring at the end of the season. There we go. The end of Lionel Messi's career is here. 36 games, though, at 40 years old is nuts. 9 and 2 on the year for him. In terms of standings, Barcelona finishing fourth in the La Liga standings. They don't win the Copa de España. They don't win the Super Cup. And obviously, they're not in any European competitions either. So the end of their careers have been kind of crap, to be honest, with regards to trophies. We'll sim out the rest of this with Barcelona because Messi's retiring and the rest of the games don't really matter to us. They lose to Girona. They lose or they beat Sevilla. They beat Valladolid and then Real Madrid on the final day of the season. It's a win for Real Madrid. There we go. The end of Lionel Messi's career is here. But when will Ronaldo's career end? It could end after this season as well, theoretically. He could get released into free agency or next year, he could just end at the end of his contract. Let's see how it goes. We're going to search him up. Ronaldo. He's still going. He's still going. He's retiring at the end of the year, though, by the end of his contract. So let's sim it all out and see where he ends up. Cristiano Ronaldo has actually had an extra season compared to Lionel Messi. He's actually maintained his rating at a 75 overall. Nevertheless, he's retiring. 13 and 3 is not bad for a 41-year-old OAP. Standings-wise, they finished 16th again, scarily close to the relegation zone with 33 points. That is abysmal. Again, no trophies, no trophies, no trophies, no trophies. They're not in any European competition either. A poor final season for Ronaldo. Let's sim out to Ronaldo's retirement and then just reflect on their careers. As a matter of fact, we can do it right now. Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. We reversed their careers. We started them at the clubs that they're currently at in real life as of recording. It's October 2023. And what have we learned? Well, Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi are good football players. Both of them won four Ballon d'Ors each. They won a couple of Champions Leagues, but Lionel Messi, crucially, won the World Cup. And I think that takes him over the edge. He started his career real fast, winning the World Cup and the Champions League within a space of like three years. It was ridiculous. And then Ronaldo just slowly gained his way back. But Messi's four Ballon d'Ors in a row probably put him clear. I think Lionel Messi is the winner of this simulation. However, form your own opinions, leave some comments, and thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, then check out this video where I got Lionel Messi. I made him a manager, Champions Leagues, World Cups. Could he win the World Cup as a player and as a manager? Watch the video and find out. Thank you so much for watching.